woke up in the desert. Like I've been dropped out of the sky. You got a name? I don't know. After the success Steven Spielberg has had this summer with Transformers Dark of the Moon and Super 8, the Academy Award-winning producer and his studio DreamWorks has had their first big disappointment of the year this past weekend with Cowboys and Aliens. The film only took in $36.5 million at the box office, proving that it may be a few months, if at all, the studio can recoup the $163 million it costs to make the film. Daniel Craig plays a stranger with no recollection of his past who is dropped right smack in the middle of a town called Absolution. He talks about how he prepared for the role. I really just watched as many Westerns as I possibly could. Uh, um, I watched a lot of John Wayne Westerns, but I, I, my favorite ones, personal favorite ones, are the ones from the 70s, the sort of uh, look, little things like Little Big Man and um, the, sort of the so-called dirty Westerns. Uh, where there's sort of, sort of a little more reality. Oh, the Butch, Butch and Sundance is obviously a big favorite of mine. He also talks about how the movie is a real period piece. It, it was so important for all of us and all of the filmmakers and all the people involved with making of this film that we wanted to make, first and foremost, a good Western. And we wanted the audience to be sucked into this the idea that they were watching a good Western. Otherwise, it would have felt like we were in a sort of non-existent world. So the, the film, I think, is set in 1873, and it had to feel like it was 1873. Cowboys and Aliens also stars Harrison Ford and Olivia Wilde and was directed by John Favreau. It's currently in theaters nationwide.